What's up friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you're new. So because I always talk about how dirty I am because I don't wash my hair all the time, I decided to finally make a video about how I do that. So I'm gonna be updating you guys daily for a week about what my hair is looking like and how I'm styling it because of what it's kind of like texture and oiliness is for that day. So today is a Monday. I'm not sure if I'll be washing my hair two times or one time this upcoming week. Um, it really depends on how much I work out, how much I sweat, etc. And you may be thinking my hair's not that greasy right now and that's because I used baby powder this morning to kind of soak up some of the oil. So I really could last another day if I really wanted to, but I kind of am hoping my shampoo schedule lines up with the weekend so that after I wash it tonight, either this weekend it'll still be good or I'll wash it again like Friday night if that'll be my second wash. I really kind of go with the flow. So this is day one. Also, it probably looks greasier than it is just because my roots are so grown out and so dark, but I'm about to use coconut oil, then my Love Planet Beauty Rose Shampoo, and then my Lush Happy Happy Joy Joy Conditioner, followed by my leave-in conditioner, that's the R&B Cream from Lush as well. And then tomorrow morning, I will let you know what it looks like. Also quickly wanted to touch on the benefits, so, uh, people are always like, why do you need to do that? There's kind of a lot of benefits actually, but um, a big one is that you're just exposing yourself to less chemicals by not really washing your hair every time you shower. So I do wash my body every day, just not my hair. Um, another thing is that a lot of shampoos really dry out your hair. And as I've said in other videos, I have really, really dry, like coarse, thick hair anyways. So I don't want to make it any drier if I don't have to, which is why I don't like to shampoo it all the time. Um, I also have really dry skin, so my scalp will get really dry and I'll get that dandruff if I um, scrub my hair with shampoo every day. So that's another reason for me. But yeah, there's a lot of ways to do it if you wanna just do it less. I guess the average American washes their hair four times a week. I looked that up. Um, there's ways to wash your hair with just like baking soda and apple cider vinegar if you're trying to just go all natural. Um, I really encourage you to look it up. You can even look up like no poo, I'm pretty sure they call it, as in no shampoo. So yeah, this is day one, and I will show you tomorrow morning what I look like. So it's bright and early on Tuesday. I'm actually gonna call this day one because of washing it last night, so it's technically like clean right now. But this is what you get in the morning because I sleep on the wet hair without brushing it, so super curly underneath, and then like straight on top, and super ratty because I did not brush it. So that's what I'll deal with today, but I'm just gonna literally throw it on top of my head for yoga. I'm about to head to yoga, and then when I get back, I'll show you kind of what I do with it today. Um, it might be ponytail day, just because it is so ratty, and I'll be yoga till eight, and then I'll probably leave it at like 8.20 to get to work, so probably ponytail day. But I did want to mention two other things I thought of, um, two other reasons why I do wash my hair only one or two times a week, and that is A, it is cheaper because you're not paying for products as often. Sorry, my voice is not coming out. And B, it's just more convenient. I don't have to deal with brushing this out every single day or sleeping on wet hair or anything like that. So it's just way more convenient for me to do it less. And I do realize that everyone's hair is different, so it's not easy for everyone to do this. Um, especially if your hair is a lot thinner than mine or you just have like an oily scalp. Um, I'm just blessed with hair that works that way, but also not blessed because of how dry and coarse it is. But I know there's a lot of articles online too about training your hair slowly, so like taking it a day at a time and slowly getting your hair to become less greasy over time by spreading out your washes slowly. Okay, so I took a body shower, I did my makeup, and let my hair, the sweat kind of like dry, but it wasn't like a super hot yoga class or anything, so I'm not really sweaty at all anymore. And I realized that my pony would be really poofy if I put it in just a pony, so I think I'm gonna try to do one big French braid for today, just to kind of tame it. Ooh, that reminds me, that's like another reason why um, it works well for my hair to wash it less is because every time I do wash it It's like extra poofy the next day, but as the week goes on it actually gets like less poofy Almost feels like thinner, you know I always have hair fall out Okay So I need to leave ASAP so Hopefully this works well 
first time and very quick. Usually does. It's so funny because I feel like French braiding is such like a normal thing. Like very common, like a lot of people know how to French braid. And yet almost every time I like braid my hair for work, I'm always asked if I did it myself. And I'm like, obviously. Do you think I ask my roommate to do my hair in the morning? Like, no. Ugh, it's always a little ratty right there. Okay, then I'm gonna grab a rubber band and just tie this at the end. Voila, super easy. Day one, clean hair. That's all. Okay, <clears throat> I never have a voice in the morning. So it's technically day two. So Wednesday, this is the braid I wore yesterday and I just slept in it kind of wild, but I'm hoping my hair is just kind of wavy from it. I'll either throw it up in a pony or if the waves are cute, keep it down later. So this is me fresh out of bed. Like what is this piece doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. But I'm in a body shower first. No yoga this morning. I'm going to like a boxing yoga style class tonight after work. So that one gets me really sweaty. So my hair will be gross tonight. But I'll make sure to show you that too so you can see like, yes, I get very sweaty and still don't wash my hair. Okay, let's try to take this ish out. I think it's going to be kind of crazy to be honest. Sometimes it's a pleasant surprise. Okay. Well, it's not as crazy as I thought, so I'm probably just gonna put my makeup on and let this kind of like fall and see where we end up. And then I'll probably walk to work with it in like a low pony that doesn't leave like a mark. Take it out at work, see if I still like it. And if I don't, I'll put it in a pony. So that's day two. I can't believe I'm showing you like this, but this is me after the shred and box workout. Honestly, it's like almost hard to see the sweat because my roots are so dark, but you can definitely see that. And I'm not washing it, so I'm about to go take a body shower, keep this in a bun so it doesn't get wet, and let it dry. And this did take me forever to get used to, by the way. Like, you always want to just like wash the sweat out, but once you let it dry just a couple times, you kind of just like get used to it and it's not like my hair like stinks or anything my mom will literally smell my shampoo for days <laughs> she'll be like when's the last time you washed your hair i'm like um last tuesday and i'll be there on like a saturday and she's like i still smell your shampoo so it doesn't make me stink just kind of gross while it's drying good morning it's day three so it's thursday hair's a little wild because i didn't comb it last night after letting my sweat dry or anything so it just kind of Icky, and I feel like it's almost like wet in some areas which can't be from my workout so I wonder if I like sweat in my sleep last night if I had like a bad dream but I just took a body shower again I'm almost feeling like it's already kind of icky this week so there's a chance I might have to shower twice this week but maybe not because last night was my only like sweaty workout this week like I did like a that boxing style but tonight and tomorrow are going to be like uh, vinyasa flow classes for yoga so I usually sweat a little bit but not where my hair is like drenched so I don't know I'll just kind of decide probably tomorrow honestly but I'm not gonna put baby powder in or anything today because it's not that bad might have to tomorrow though today I'm honestly just throwing it up in a ponytail because I left it down all day yesterday and then tomorrow I'll probably either sleep in braids tonight or wear braids tomorrow, so. Today is pony. And here 
here we are. Couldn't see in this very well, so I went to my mirror. Day three. Okay, so I went to a pretty chill yoga class tonight and my hair didn't get like super disgustingly soaked like yesterday. So didn't really have to wait for it to dry. I just stuck it in some French braids to sleep in so that I can wake up tomorrow, take these out and literally be good to go because it'll be wavy. So that wraps up day three. See you in the morning. All right, it's finally Friday. I slept in braids last night, so I'm just going to take them out this morning. And I have some no heat waves, so they kind of fall throughout the day and don't stay this wavy, but I still just like love this look. This is my favorite thing to do. Sometimes I'm just too lazy to braid my hair at night. So whenever I do braid my hair at night, it just makes my morning so much easier because that literally took me two seconds to take out and now I'm freaking ready. And I did go to yoga this morning, but it, again, it wasn't a sweaty one. So I just went to yoga in those braids and then obviously just not took them out and I don't really have sweaty hair. So we're good for another day. Happy Friday and I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, it's day five. I slept in a like low French braid thing. And my hair is a little greasy. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put baby powder in it or not. It's like, I feel like I should, but I'm also wearing a hat today. So I don't know if it's like worth it to put the baby powder in today or wait till tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. Let's see what it looks like when I take out this braid today. I'm in Mokina by the way. And Kyle's jamming to music, that's why this day looks different than the other days. Okay, not bad. It's really just the roots are kinda dark, but I feel like the hat will definitely cover that. It's a lifeguard hat, guys, <laughs> for a costume with Trigger. He's a shark and Kyle is. Um, shark attack. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna put baby powder in today. By the way, if you want to see how this contest, this Halloween spooky pooch parade goes, I will have a vlog up for it too soon, so keep an eye out. It's Sunday, which means it's day six of not washing my hair. This is what we got. It's pretty greasy. But I haven't decided if I'm gonna wash it tonight before work tomorrow or do the baby powder trick tomorrow morning. I'm not doing anything today, so it doesn't matter if I have greasy hair. We might like go for a walk and then I'll take the train home. So, I don't know, might update you tonight if I do wash it on day six or if I just baby powder it tomorrow and then wash it tomorrow night, making it actually a full week, which doesn't always happen. It's usually twice a week, I will admit, um, but once a week's do happen. It's easier for me whenever I'm doing like more yoga that my like scalp doesn't get real sweaty. And in the winter, like I'm just like sweaty less in general and my scalp's probably more dry so my hair is less oily. So that's kind of why it's not really too difficult for me to do. As gross as that probably sounds. <laughs> yeah, today's a mess. I don't even really want to brush it. It's just kind of like, ugh. So I'm gonna throw it up in a line <laughs> to just chill inside. Okay, it's still day six, but it's nighttime now. My hair is definitely greasy and I'm about to take a shower, but I think I've decided to just do the body shower. And then tomorrow I will just use the baby powder, which actually I could go like two days with the baby powder, but I just let today kind of be greasy because I didn't really go out in public besides on the train and walking here. So yeah, this will actually be a whole week um, not washing my hair. And I'm for sure waiting till tomorrow night. So I'll just put baby powder in in the morning. I'll probably sleep in braids tonight. Take them out, put baby powder in in the morning, go to work, go to yoga after work, and then wash it. So you'll see more of me tomorrow. It's the final day, so day seven of this week of not washing my hair. So I'm going to take out my braids see how my hair looks and then probably add some baby powder to my roots.
okay I feel like this whole video it's been hard for you guys to like see my roots and honestly this is like the least greasy they've been all year probably because it's been like the coldest it's been yet this year and I'm not sweating a lot again the whole yoga thing I'm not soaking my hair besides maybe like once or twice a week in sweat so that definitely makes a difference but today it is definitely greasy so I'm just taking this like generic baby powder so I'm just gonna take it and kind of try to sprinkle it on my root and I try to move it and get other roots because I don't always keep my hair just like parted because I just kind of like brush it back out of my face a lot of times so I want to get the other places that I could show today too And after I basically get it everywhere, I just kind of rub it in. Because you don't really want the white spots everywhere. And there we have it. Super easy. You can obviously use dry shampoo. I just feel like sometimes it has like more of a residue and baby powder to me doesn't. It just like soaks in very well. So that's why I typically prefer baby powder. And honestly guys, if I wanted to go a whole nother day, I probably could just use baby powder for one more day. But I have like dinner plans and stuff tomorrow night. So I always have to like think about what's going on during my week too. So tonight after my yoga class, I'm just going to wash my hair finally. <laughs> All right, day seven, night, Monday night. Just got out of yoga. A little sweaty, not terrible. Finally gonna go wash it. All right, I'm out. I used the same routine that I did when I started this video. Nothing new. Same products, but the same R&B, like leave-in conditioner from Lushen. Not gonna brush it, because I never do when it's wet. And now I'm gonna continue on with my night and go do some fun laundry. All right, that's all I have for you guys. I already told you why I do it and that I know that it's not easy for everyone. So that's all folks. Thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that red button below so we can be friends. And you can check my social medias linked below as well if you'd like. All right, thanks for watching and see you next video.